Good morning, church. Emmanuel. Indeed, God is with us. My name is Sister Juliet. Okay, the lady standing beside me is Mama Annabelle. Sorry, I don't know her name. Mama Annabelle. Okay, it all started last year in November, second week of November. They came to my shop to buy something. So when I turned, I saw the child with a very big bandage by, by her right, left hand. So I said, Mom, what, happened? what is happening? What happened to this child? So she started crying. I said, what is it? She said that the little child had a hot water breath. I said, how? She said she was boiling water with a electric kettle. So the water was boiling. The child now rushed and pulled the kettle and poured herself. The, the hot water now splashed all over her body. So that is the situation. So I felt it. I even started crying because when you come closer to the child, the wound is smelling. She's smelling. So I said, what have you done? She said, Mama, this, that the child has entered the theater three good times. That the fourth one is going to be on the 27th of December. Because the wound has already been infected. And the most dangerous part of it is that the wound is now piercing through the heart. That the doctors are confused on what to do. So they now face that 27th of December for the first surgery. They can now decide on what to do. So I now said... Can I ask you for a favor? She said, what is it? I said, please, can you follow me to, uh, to my church? She said, church? I said, yes. She said, where is your church? I said, Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministry at Boysen. That I believe that God will do something about this child. That she will never go for that fourth surgery. She said, mama, do you know what you're saying? I said, yes, I know what I'm saying because I've seen what God has done and what God is still doing. If only you can come. She said, okay, that was on a Thursday. She said, but she, there is no means she can come to poison that is very far. I said, no problem. Just come on Saturday so that we can finalize. I will talk to my husband. We will make an arrangement for you and the child to come to church. So she said, okay. On that Saturday, she came. But before she came, I've already explained everything to my husband. So he was like, where is she? You did, you did not get the address. I said, no, that she gave me her word that she's going to come on Saturday. So fortunately, that Saturday, she came with the child. He even saw the wound and started crying. There is other of our brother that is also a member. Everybody, if you see the wound, the, the child, the, the left, that hand is already disfigured. She can't use it again. It's only the right. And because of that wound, she stopped going to school for months. Nobody is talking about school again. Okay, that Sunday, she came. When she came, I took her to the minister's office and we met Evangelist Betty. So I explained everything to her. So she said, okay, you know what? We are not going to place you on prayer line because if we place you there, you will not understand what, how the church is going. You need to sit and watch God in action so that it will not seem to you as if it's a magic. So she said, okay. That day before she left, after interviewing her, she explained everything. And the operation is 27th of December, which is already remaining like three weeks. After that day, she went home with anointing oil and drink and leave. So when we got home, she went, we now went on our way. Then Monday or Tuesday, the following week, she came to the shop and said, Mom, please tell me, how am I going to use this water and the oil? I said, okay, you know what? She said, no. I said, bring a bottle, drink and leave. I started explaining to her, you just drop a, a drop in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. Let it be the water that this child will be drinking from now, henceforth. She said, okay. I said, you see this oil? That is small, but God is using it to do wonders. She said, okay. I said, for Master Jesus. <laughs> Clap for Master Jesus. That clapping is not good for the healer of healers. The doctor of doctors. Can you scream? You heard what our sister is explaining to us. He said it's not the quantity that matters, but what God has deposited in the materials that we use in Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry. And only if you have faith, 
God will visit you at the point of your need. Can we once again clap for Master Jesus? So after explaining to her, I said, okay, there is one more thing. She said, what is it? I said, anytime you said you don't read Bible, she said, yes. I said, okay, but you can be able to read Psalm 51. She said, yes. I said, let it be your prayer. Don't ask for any other thing. Just be reading that Psalm 51 and say, God, that that sister said that their God is healing. Let that anointing that flows in Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministry, let it show himself so mightily on this child. So be using it. She said, okay. She went. I didn't see her again. I don't know where she's staying. Like for a month, we didn't, I, we didn't see her. My husband always like, have you seen Mama Annabelle? I said, no. But one thing is sure. For the fact that she has stepped her feet on this arena of liberty, on this solution center, that... Let us clap for Master Jesus. That she will come back with testimony. So we didn't see her whole of December. We didn't see her at all. Not until first week of January, she came. And I saw this child. I started screaming. That double bandage, when I mean double bandage, it was just single bandage. I said, Mama Annabelle, how are you doing? She said, fine. I said, did you go for the operation? That was the first thing. I didn't even say Happy New Year. She said, Mama, no. I know you are angry. I said, no. Angry for what? She said, I came to give you testimony. I said, testimony. Hallelujah. What is it? She said she, they did not go for that surgery. And that wound has dried up. Can you clap for Master Jesus? Keep clapping for the healer of healers. Children of God, you are not clapping for the master of masters. Can you make it louder, children of God? We serve the God of now, the God of right here, right now. The God that answered prayers. Wow. My sister, you gave her drink and leave. You gave her anointing oil, Rafa anointing oil. The one that's God, that he, the healer. How did you feel? What is going on in your mind when you gave her all these things? Did you have any atom of doubt that it may not work because the child has gone for three operations? And how can this oil, just oil and water, how can it do the magic? Okay. One is that I've seen God. We have, my and my family have encountered God not once, not twice, not three times. He has shown himself so mightily that if I start now to give you the testimony, we will not go. Let me just give a brief of it. My last child, Prince, I will bring him here, he will see it. When I gave birth to him, the day we were going back home, the third day, he gave up on my hands while we were going home. I didn't go back to the hospital. That's where the, voice, the voice was saying, go forth, just go home. What raised him, let me just cut it short, was living water, squan living water. When I came into the house, my husband saw him and said, I saw him and said, what is wrong? He was totally red. The hands, life gone out. He lifted him up and, and cried unto God and said, God, if you are indeed God of prophet E.B. Joshua, so for yourself, people will not gather to tell me sorry. On sprinkled that, sprinkling that anointing water three times, the boy sneezed and woke up. He's Can you clap for Master Jesus? He's Sunday school now. Clap for Master Jesus. Indeed, our Redeemer live it. Our Redeemer live it. Tell your neighbor our Redeemer live it. Tell your neighbor God is here. My sister, we thank you so much for allowing God to use you to touch the life of our sister and her daughter. We are so grateful for what you have done. May God continue to bless you more and more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sister, please tell us your name and introduce yourself to the congregation here present and viewers all over the world and explain to us what the God of right now, right here have done for you. 
Sawona tate wetu, sokela uguti usho ika malako uzazise, pambi kweba andla, bese uniyezu bufaga zibako, maile na nga loko sokishiwe ngulo dade osetuze wako. Ika malami ngongu temba ni lovu. Ngiabonga kakulu sisu kundeta lana, benga zikutumda na mungu na mshanju zovu kaya our sister is saying her name is Tembani Jovo. Like I've said, my name is Tembani Jovo. I'm so thankful that the sister next to me has introduced me to this church. I had already lost hope on the condition of my child. She introduced me and I started using these as, uh, mediums and I'm, I've seen a, a tremendous difference. Our sister is saying she's here to testify because she's seen a difference and she had lost hope. She didn't know where, uh, where to look and what to do. So she's here because she's seen a difference. Therefore, she's here to testify. Yeah. I'm so thankful to, the, to this church for the platform and for this sister who has introduced me to the church. I'm very happy. I'm delighted that uh, my child is healed because of this church. You didn't do it better, children of God. Amen and amen. Sister, what happened to your child? Umtana what don't see Kelsella Lila Manza Bilayo, Ubegazala and a pansy got him in a community or she sees a kitchen, Magafiga, Ubefuna Manzo Pusa, what don't see Kelsella Lam Taylor Umzimba. Okay, what happened to this child was that the child put a kettle that was on the stove while the mother was busy doing dishes and noticingly and knowingly and the child pulled the kettle and was bent by the water from the kettle. Can you look at the screen? Is this your daughter? Yes. 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 How did you feel when you saw that your daughter had been born in this manner? Was this Waganja and Mouse Wona Le Sesara, Le Sesara Lindo de Raziaco, Yemba Waloko is Oranja? Begusunga Kulu, Mova, Begual, Begfaneling, and Tijama Pandi singing it, Wanging Azing, Sesava, Maga Scream, Begusung, Alal, Usubonke. So Begunzim Wooting the situation in Bambeganja and Ingeto. But since I told you to be a good advisor, you like my sister, it was a painful and a fearful situation for me because I had to change the bandages for this child daily on my own. I'm so happy about that, that there was a, a, a sister, the sister standing next to me, who gave me advice and even gave me extra advice and even introduced me to this church. What happened when you went to the hospital? When Zagala and yes, cut my figures, Pedle. Man figures, Pedle, and I ate him sting, ate him sting, but took me lane, eh, John's peg. Now, Fuga, excellent, and so I am missing, eh, John's peg. Man figure, Conum, done away at theatre for the first time. Bayom, Bayom Pala, then for the second time, but took me a wheel again. Wabuyel. So I took the child to the Germiston Hospital and the Germiston Hospital referred me to Jobek General Hospital. At the Jobek Gen, and then they took the child to the theater 
for skin coloring. And then afterwards, the process could not proceed and get finalized because the child has contracted flu, and hence we stopped and went back. How many times was the operation done? When Ziwa Ama operation Amanga Gumdua? We and Zwega be the always status of Mela Hambe and Sayang and what is him. So this child was operated two times. The third time when the child was meant to be operated, I couldn't go. Was there any improvement, any sign of healing when these doctors did operation on your child? And after our sister gave you the drink and leave and the Rafa anointing water, what happened? How long did it take your child to have? How long did it take you to notice that there is improvement? Let us clap for Master Jesus. There was a tremendous improvement soon after I started using the mediums from this church. It started in November, in December, and then in January, the child had to go back to school because there was tremendous improvement and healing. So I saw improvement. I saw healing after using the mediums from this church. Let us clap for Master Jesus once again. Can I speak to your daughter one minute? How are you? Fine. Are you fine now? You are going to school. Yes. Can I see where you had that hot burn before, water burn? Where are they? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Continue to clap for Master Jesus. Amen and amen. Mama, can you tap on those areas she had those burn? Can you just touch it? Let us clap for Master Jesus. You can see that the daughter of Zion has been healed. The daughter of Zion has been healed to the glory of God. I want to thank the God of now, the God of Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry, the God of Prophet Isaka for healing our daughter, making her healthy now so that she will be able to go back to school. Let us once again glorify God for this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us appreciate God. Appreciate God for the wonderful works you have done. Amen and amen.
Hi, sister, I want to thank you so much for coming. And I thank God for using our sister to bring healing to your daughter. And I pray that you look unto that healer, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. More and more testimonies, more and more testimonies will come your way in the mighty name and in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let us once again clap for Master Jesus. Umshaba wonke uyazi nebandla lase Shekhana selazo kwenzekile izimange zenzekile ukuphilisa kwendodakazi yakho and siyathemba ukuthi Jehova uzoqhubeka enza izimanga ngokuqala lokho kuseningi okuzokwenzeka in Jesus name